Okay, everybody, I'm back. This is the second screencast. And again, this is dealing with uh, exam two, part two. And uh, as I, you'll see over there in Moodle, I've uh, loaded the first screencast that uh, covers the first part, first problem. Now we're going to work on the second problem. And I am going to go ahead and open back, open up the instructions. Again, this is the example. There are the instructions there, of course, the real ones at Moodle. And of course, you'll want to download the uh, Word file and then, uh, and then do the work as I showed you in the first part. Well, here's the second part. Uh, here's problem number two. And uh, I'm going to highlight this so we could see it. Basically says, assume that you enter the data newly created table two into an MS Excel spreadsheet. Write a formula that would identify sales volume as follows, 83,000, 93,000, low volume, 98,000 to 118,000 is medium volume, and then uh, medium volume, excuse me, and 119 to, to 170 as high volume. Assume the sales volume data were entered starting at cell A1. Provide a screenshot from MS Excel file that demonstrates the accuracy of your work. So we're going we're gonna to do that. Uh, we're going to go back to that file, and I'm going to go back to sheet one. That's that file. Remember, we created table number two, and then we created figure number one. Now, I'm going to start with uh, the data, and I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to open up sheet number two. And the first method we're going to use to do this is we're going to use the VLOOKUP. And here in, in, uh, in cell A, here in uh, cell A1, I'm going to start with the category for, um, well, I'm going to start over here in, pardon me, in cell uh, F. And I'll put, uh, we'll do the lookup table over here. We'll just call that lookup table. Should look hauntingly familiar, like one of our cases. We're going to do the VLOOKUP and... Uh, I'll go ahead and hit home. I'll make that look real pretty. I'm going to wrap the uh, merge and center that text. Now here I'm going to put the uh, data in for my cut points, 83, 98, and 119. And as you can see, then uh, 83 is low. That's the uh, floor for the uh, low category. The floor for the medium category is medium. The medium is 98. And the... Um, the high is 119. So we've got the lookup table created now. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and make that look pretty. We'll go ahead and put some borders in at that business. Make it look very nice. And then I'm going to come to cell A1 just as instructed. I'm going to put in the data. And to uh, save the typing, I'm going to go ahead and come back over here to sheet number one. And I'll put in the uh, sales data. I'll go back here to sheet two and I'm going to paste them in. Now I'm going to, in, then in column B, starting at B1, I'm going to use the VLOOKUP, so equal VLOOKUP. And then put that parenthesis and I can use the dialog box then. And the lookup value is going to be the one that's there in A1. Then the lookup array is going to be the lookup table and that's going to be cells. Uh, F3 uh, to G3, okay, and just to make sure, F3 to G5, excuse me, F3 to G5, that's the table array, and to make sure that I'm okay, I'm going to highlight those, and I'm going to press F4 to make sure that they're absolute cell references. Then the column uh, number, index number will be 2, and we see our first result there is low, and then we should drag and drop it on down. And we'll see that that's correct. Low uh, is uh, 83 to 97. 83 is a low in the low category. 97 is in the low category. 118 is in the medium category. 155 and 170 are in the high category. I can go back over to this, uh, over to the, over to the um, Word doc. And I can put those in or just, they're inferred thereby. What I've done. So I'm going to go back here to sheet two, and I've used the VLOOK table to uh, to 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 um, categorize these data. And now all I have to do, if I want, is to click uh, is, is to hit con 
uh, is to hit, uh, is to do a print screen, okay, and come back into the Word document, do a print screen, and you've finished. So if you stop at VLOOKUP and you show me use that to categorize these data, I'm fine because it's the easiest way to do it. Okay, and with the screenshot, uh, make sure that you I can see the formula bar, what's in the formula bar, as well as the lookup table, plus the d data and their um, and and the uh, and their classifications using the VLOOKUP. So we're good, we're done. Now, if you are intrigued or interested, we can go ahead and do a second method to, to get these, and I'm going to click on sheet number three. And before I do, I'm going to go ahead and take the data. In, in sheet two, I'm going to take the data in cell A1 to A5 and copy those into sheet number three. All right. And now this time I'm going to use the a, a nested conditional statement. Oh, what fun. This reminds you of that case. Now I'm going to take a minute or two and type it in and then run it. And uh, then I'll, I'll talk about it. So give me a minute and we'll go a little bit silent here while I do this. And if I've done it right, this should work. Now let's look at this for just a minute, and I'm going to drag and drop it and make sure we're in good shape. And yes, we are. Uh, again, 83 is in the low category, as is in 97. Because remember from the spread, uh, from the instructions, we were told that there is a range. 83 to 97 is in low volume. 98 to 118 is medium volume. 119 to 170 is a high volume. So. So far, so good there. Let's talk about what I did here, this nested conditional statement. Um, and I'll start with this first one here in B1. is equal A1 is greater than 118 is high, which is true, uh, because anything greater than 118 goes into the high category. Then uh, here's the second part of this nested statement. Uh, if A1 is greater than 98, it's medium. Okay, and, and that would be, and if it's uh, greater than 98, uh, but it's not greater than 118, then it's medium. And the machine will then check to see if it's if it's uh, equal to or, or, or greater than 90, 83, it's low. Otherwise, it's out of range. So uh, 83 uh, doesn't fit the first one. It's not greater than 118. Uh, 83 is uh, not greater than 98, but it is equal to or greater than 83, so it fits the low category. Let's follow the logic along look real quickly at 97. Same story there. It's not greater than 118. It's not greater than 98, but it is greater than or equal to 97, so it fits the low. The medium is the trickiest of all of these, and let's know to see what happens here. Um, uh, A3 is greater than 118. It's high, which it's, it, it, it would be. If it's greater than 118, which it's not, uh, if uh, A3 is greater than 98, it's medium, which it is, and it's greater than or equal to 83, uh, but it's not equal to that, so it, since it's already met this condition of, of being greater than 98, it's classified as medium, which it is, and the machine uh, moves on. Then the high ones are pretty easy. Uh, the first condition is if it's greater than 118, it's high, and so it met that condition. Remember, conditional statements are equal if, con uh, test, and then if the condition's met, the output. And so this is a very simple nested statement, fairly simple. And again, I'll do the screenshot. 
and this is for those of you who are hardcore who want to do this. Might be all one of you. Who knows? And again, there's screenshot, which would show me how you use the nested statement to get that done. Well, there's a third way we can do it. So I'm going to open up a new sheet, a sheet number four. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to get the data from A1 to A5 in sheet three in those same uh, sales data. And I'm going to paste them in here. And this time we're going to use the if and statement which is a little bit more intuitive. So give me a minute or two to, to type it in. And we'll talk about it. Now let's see if I made a mistake or I did it correctly. All right, now let's carry it down and see what we get. And uh, again, those are correct. 83 is in the low category, as is in 97. 8, 118 is in the medium category. 155 is in the high. 170 is in the high. Now, the if and statement says that both conditions have to be met because we use the and. That equal if and means both conditions, not just one. Uh, but both conditions. And let's look at this on the 83, for example. Equal if and A1 is uh, greater than or equal to 83, it makes that condition. And if it's less than or equal to 98, it falls in the low category. So it, it does indeed fit. And this is, but this is how we create that range. Uh, and so since that condition's met, we get the output of low. 97 uh, is uh, greater than 83, but is also less than or equal to 98, so it falls in the low category as well. So the conditions met. See in this conditional statement, once a computer uh, see, tests that condition and the condition is true, then it gives you the output or, or it meets the condition. Uh, here then again is on the medium, and we're looking at this as equal if and. Uh, A3 is uh, greater than or equal to 83. So far, so good. Yeah, but is it, it's not less than 98, so it goes on. And it is greater than 98, and it is equal to or less than 118, so it fits the medium category. Then if we look at one, uh, uh, then we look at the uh, one, 155, the sales, 155,000. Um, it doesn't fit the, uh, we go through the, the process, the logic. It's uh, greater than or, uh, uh, 83, but it's not less than 98. Uh, it's greater than 98, but it's not less than 118, so it falls into the high category. Same thing for 170. And again, this is using an if and statement. And we'll do a print screen of it. And there you've done the VLOOKUP and done a print screen to show me you did it in Excel. And then you've done, and then I've also shown you how to do it doing, using a nested conditional statement and did a screenshot in Excel. Same story there. And then that, and then I used the if and statement uh, 